The next Bitcoin breakout is right now happening and ever since Bitcoin has right now confirmed the break above this very important level I have discussed for numerous days in a row we need to right now talk about the next targets because the breakout is currently starting and Bitcoin is looking very strong right now over the course of the weekend. So I will be talking about an historical pattern that currently is emerging on the market. I will talk about the massive downtrend on the daily time frame which we are currently flipping right now and I will be talking about the massive spot bitcoin etf inflows the still negative funding rates and many more other charts and information what is basically the reason why we're currently pumping so heavily towards the upside so without any further ado don't forget once again snap that like button back above 1000 likes so it will be highly appreciated and with that being said let me jump straight away in towards the content and first of all i want to be pointing out it is currently weekend it is saturday so we're once again going to create a new cme gap and currently this cme gap will be getting created around 64.1k so we're still expecting while well, we are indeed moving towards the upside right now that at the end of the weekend bitcoin is most likely still going to come back towards the cme close price i mean for the last three weekends this is what exactly played out but of course sometimes bitcoin could create a massive cme gap but this is the base case scenario so looking at bitcoin right now here yesterday we have finally broken above that red box of resistance we were already breaking out of course on the symmetrical triangle which we talked about but now also we broke above the red box of resistance which was by far the most important resistance you can see clearly major rejections right here also big rejections right here and currently we're seeing the continuation towards the upside and just like i said in many videos before the price target was laying around 65,000 US dollars and actually we were just a few dollars off here but basically we've already reached that price target from the exact prediction what target we were going to be hitting we have already hit that exact target already for bitcoin which is of course absolutely amazing to be seeing but what we are re but what are we looking at right now here bitcoin is breaking above resistance but what and how should we be approaching bitcoin next year so first of all we of course also flipped the most important level of uh, resistance which is that 62k level and i do believe that if bitcoin does see any rejection from this level and come back towards this region I think we're most likely going to be retesting this as support and then we're going to be moving back towards the upside. So this could be a very good trading opportunity where I am personally looking towards. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to be taking it, but if I do get the opportunity, if Bitcoin comes down here, I'm definitely going to be taking it with both hands here. So what are the targets and what are the most important resistance levels currently laying above us? And straight away, I want to be pointing out this level where we're actually currently seeing a slight little rejection from, which has been, if we're starting to zoom in a little bit here on the 12 hour time frame, has been big support for bitcoin in the past big resistance also right here provides support also right here provided big resistance and basically started that massive drop off towards the downside and that is going to be 65,000 US dollars so 65k is going to be a next level to be looking at but what i straight away want to be pointing out before diving deeper in towards the content is that actually bitcoin is currently start to uh, shift the trend here so first we we're creating a lower high after lower high after lower high and then we create another lower high right here and actually we have flipped this uh, pre is high in the market and currently we are starting to create a higher high which is of course good here but still on the macro trends we need to be breaking above these big highs in the market so if right now bitcoin is going to come up here guys 68.3k is going to be by far one of the most important levels and biggest levels of resistance of this entire currently uh, consolidation phase where we are right now trading in and if we do come down towards this previous high right here we're expecting that this level is at least going to be providing some support for bitcoin and if i'm quickly going to be removing my face cam guys i believe that currently we're seeing a very similar consolidation phase just like we saw in the previous cycle in the summer and usually summers on bitcoin are extremely boring but the summer is right now over i mean in a couple days officially the summer will be over and usually in q4 we tend to see the most volatility and the summer consolidation was quite boring just like it was last year last year also in the entire months of may june july august september we have actually seen bitcoin being extremely boring and we're seeing something similar right now and we're moving in a very similar way in terms of accumulation in terms of dumps and i believe that really yes after the summer is over that is where the big volatility for bitcoin is going to come back in towards the market so all in all things are actually looking very great for bitcoin and actually yesterday as well we saw over 250 million us dollars 
worth of inflows on the spot Bitcoin ETF. Well, the market is right now not an extreme fear anymore, but it used to be an extreme fear yesterday. And if we're looking at the funding rates, Bitcoin is still heavily getting shorted despite the most recent bump towards the upside. So despite the fact that currently Bitcoin is trading above 64,000 US dollars, we're still seeing negative funding rates, which basically means that people are still shorting Bitcoin. The most amount of uh, traders are shorting Bitcoin. And always, whenever this happens in a bull run, and I told you, I told you this while we were consolidating over here, negative funding rates in a bull market means we're going to be squeezing higher. And this plays out almost every single time here. And uh, yes, that is exactly what happened. And since we're still seeing negative funding rates, I think this rally towards the upside is still quite healthy and we could see an even bigger push towards the upside. So this is actually making myself extremely bullish and considering the fact that still the majority of the liquidity is laying above us around at a approximately 70 to 73,000 US dollar level, we can still go much, much higher from off this point onwards. And yeah, just like I said earlier in the video, guys, I am looking for new trading opportunities. And if you're subscribed to the channel, you will, I will be showing you exactly what my next trade is going to be here on the market. So if you are interested in trading and you want to be getting on a trade already, don't forget to go to the highest link in the description of today's video because if you press on that link right there, you'll come to this page where you can actually currently claim a free 500 US dollar airdrop position for only signing up an account using that link below and completing KYC. So if you are interested in that, check it out in the link description of today's video. And one of the reasons why Bitcoin actually saw this massive pump, and not only Bitcoin, because if we're looking at the stock market, the stock market is just only a percent away from hitting new autumn highs, is due to the fact that yesterday we had Jackson Hole. And Jackson Hole is basically where Fed Chair Jerome Powell is going to talk about the... Uh, policies and where he's going to be talking about what he's expecting is going to be happening next for the economy and he basically declared that the time has come for the policy to adjust and basically what he means with that is that yes it is time for some rate cuts and and currently, since he has said this, because people were afraid that maybe he's going to say, yeah, the market remains to be strong. We need to keep on tightening. But basically, due to this, the rate cut got cemented. And basically, the market right now knows that he is going to start injecting liquidity again here, which he is actually already doing. But that he's also going to cut the rates to make it a more favorable situation for the economy to grow here. So already, we can see that the M2, the global money supply, is starting to increase rapidly. And it's actually creating a divergence with Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And like I said in my previous videos, guys, the total money supply is one of the most important things to be looking at. And as this is currently increasing, this could only mean Bitcoin is going to be pushing higher eventually. So very great news that we got from the Fed. And that is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is already pushing towards the upside. And still, like I said and many times before, guys, while most people are saying, oh, but we're currently creating a blow off top scenario, just like we were doing in 2021. No, we're not. We're creating a bull flag pattern. And this is all but a blow of top. This is a reaccumulation around autumn high. So Bitcoin ultimately still is looking extremely bullish. The bull flag is still in creation and we are about to be having one of the largest breakouts out of our history. And still we're consolidating sideways, but whenever we're going to be breaking out of the region, that is the point where we're going to be seeing the massive volatility struck the market. So yes, if I'm looking at where we're currently sitting in a four-year cycle, I would highly recommend to watch my video from yesterday where I went more in depth about the four-year cycle on Bitcoin and how it is still exactly in play and how we are currently literally seeing one of the best buying opportunities ever because if history is an indication, the bull market is going to most likely start in approximately 50 days from now on. So things are still looking good. Bitcoin is still right on track and we're just creating a massive consolidation phase and we're just waiting before the next breakout is really going to take place here. So this was it for me in today's video. If you did learn something from it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye. We're getting to the freaking moon.